the, the thing that I realized is that a lot of racism comes from miseducation. Right. And the thing that I found out is with um, many of my friends who were Caucasian is that they asked me questions because they really didn't understand, they really didn't know about African American culture, never had been around them in school. And most of their ideas of African Americans came through the media and other outlets. So now to have for their first time to really be able to interact, they saw something different. And I think what it really goes back to is, from our standpoint, is self-image. How do you see yourself? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the way you see yourself is the way you're going to present yourself. He said something to me one day we were talking, and I'm like, man, it's funny because it seems like every white white person around here acts like they're afraid of me. Mm -hmm. And he laughed, and he was like, well, look at how you're dressed. <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? He's like, your, your pants are bagging. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. You, you can sag on accident and don't even know it. Yeah. And so it made me more conscious about where I came from and how I identified with where I came from and right. then me wanting to be identified with where I was going. Right. Uh, so much of black culture is dependent on media. It's dependent on media as our, as our source. That's how they spend it. So, so, so when all we see is black people in this light, even as black people, we walk down the street, we see brothers standing here, standing somewhere. We're going to be like, oh my God, what's happening? And you, you, you're processing survival mode immediately, right? right? right. Because right. of how the media shows us that I feel like America has given me about a black man, as an as a, as a educated black man, as an intellectual black man, that's how I process how to stay out of danger is I can't be myself around you. I can't I can't walk down the street if I live in a neighborhood. I feel like I feel like I'm wrong for doing certain things that I know mm -hmm. like if I, if I process it, if anybody else did it and they just walk down the street, it'll be okay. But I know that I don't live in that same context. You know, I'm I'm just beginning to think that everything we think is racism is not. Some stuff we we we, we just put it on it and say this is racism. Do we jump the gun in saying stuff is racist when it's really not? You know, so it's not really just about trying to prove your worth, but we're trying to stay, we're trying to survive. If people don't kill things that are worth something, that's the, that's the, that's the point, that's the key. Wow. Right? Because, well, why is Mike Brown dead today? Because if he, if he was worth something to that police officer, if the police officer understood his family context, he would have decided to make a better decision before he put that right, out. Right. Because he wasn't worth nothing to his community, he wasn't worth nothing to him, right? Mm -hmm. You kill things, you look, you look at an ant on the ground. That's the first thing you kill because it's not worth nothing to you, you step on it, boom. West Angeles is a, is a great church in terms of it gives us opportunity and individual opportunity obviously to grow. You see all of these young men that are here Everyone has a story and they've been impacted in some way by this great ministry. But I think one of the critical things that even when Tunde said is he talked about when Jesus took the loaves and the fish and broke them. He didn't distribute it himself. He gave it to the disciples to distribute. Mm -hmm. and, and it's important because now as we learn the word of God, it's important for us. Bishop Blake is not in himself going to be able to touch every person in the community. Right. But he feeds us the word so now we can take those baskets and loaves to now distribute to the community. Mm -hmm. And so it's important to be able to come here because um, essentially the things that we learn are going to help us to change someone else's life. We may be the only Jesus that somebody knows. And so the question that you have to ask is what type of Jesus are they going to see? Mm -hmm. right. Are they going to see a hypocritical? Right. Or are they going to see someone who is really walking and doing the best that they can to fulfill their purpose that God has given to them.